r slash ask reddit by reddicle parents of reddit what is most ducked up secret you are hiding from your children my daughter was conceived at work on airport property in the back of a ducking ford focus while we were waiting for a med flight to land she knows nothing about this but tells me she wants to be a pilot when she grows up if it makes you feel any better my wife and I conceived our daughter in my sister's basement while my nieces and nephews watched Veggie Tales upstairs. Whoa. Some of these got real deep. I'm over here like my kids don't know where I stash my gummy bears. I'm the child of a parent that hid something horrible until I was 27. One day when my parents has a domestic dispute, my dad called me just to get back at my mom he said. Do you want to know something about your horse mother? She slept with over 30 guys during our first two years of marriage. I just sat down and started stuttering. He said you know how people have always said you look different than the rest of the kids? I said, yeah, that's because I'm not your dad. Your mom slept with my best friend and you were conceived. Another thing, your brother, the one just younger than me, I'm the oldest, belongs to my brother. My mom just bawled in the background without denying it. I just laughed, and then I went into two years of therapy. Edit. One word younger from you get misspelling. The one just you get than me. What does this sentence mean? Probably autocorrected from. The one just younger than me. That she can't have a relationship with her grandfather because he is a pedophile and I would never trust him. The rest of my family maintains a relationship with him and leans on me hard to open up communication because family comes first. But they are absolutely right. My family does come first. Which is why my daughter won't ever have to have a relationship with him. Edit. He has molested raped multiple members of my family and I only found out when I was pregnant with my daughter. Without going into too much detail. He also has a mental illness and I've been told that I need to let him have a relationship with my daughter because he's sick and couldn't help it. You are doing the right thing. I only found out a couple of years ago that my grandfather was a pedophile and molested most of my aunts and maybe uncles. That also explained why about 90% of my uncles and aunts have been raging alcoholics for their entire lives. He wasn't really my grandfather. He took care of my grandmother when her husband left her and their six children to me he was my grandfather and he was my godfather. I just don't understand why my otherwise perfectly fine parents had us stay over at my grandmother's place when he was always around. Nothing ever happened as far as I can remember but I just don't understand why you would take that risk as a parent. No matter how small that risk might be. I have a daughter of my own now and if that ducker would still be alive today I would not let him anywhere near her. Oh yeah. He was a priest when he took my grandmother in but had to leave the church a few years later. I wonder why. What a piece of shit. I doubt he became friends with her to help her out. He saw a chance to play a lady whose life had just fallen apart. He didn't help your sweet little GMA. He took advantage of her and her kids. Duck that guy. My dad cheated on my mother while she was going through cancer treatments. My mother asked for a divorce. He said go and take the kids. Every Valentine's Day I would receive flowers from my dad and get so happy. My mom would smile and nod and get excited with me. I would call him and thank him. He never sent me flowers. It was my mom all the years. Same thing with birthday cards and Christmas gifts from him. They were never from him. My mom just put his name on them in similar handwriting. Went as far as writing return addresses on mail too. My mom was a superhero of a single parent. Your mother is amazing. Ro. It was a secret until recently my mom told me. When she and my dad got divorced, things were very, very messy. And my dad would do shitty things to dodge paying for my care. He ended up owing my mom a couple thousand dollars. And my mom was ready to sue. But instead of getting the lawyers involved, and because she knew my dad was not a healthy person to be in my life, she offered him a deal keep the money, but relinquish custody officially. I'd still get to see him if and when I wanted, but he would give up all legal rights as a guardian, because he hated paying my mom that much. He took 2k over me, not a life changing earth shattering secret, it's just revealing to know my dad values money more than me, before anybody casts judgement on my mom. My dad was, and probably is, a piece of human garbage who abused me and allowed me to be abused a few years after this. 
So I'm 1000% fine with my mom's decision. She's my favorite person in the world and every single day I am so lucky to have her in my life. Is less than 3. I don't think anyone could judge your mom negatively. She turned a bad situation into an opportunity to ensure you had safe custody going forward. What a smart loving person. You both sound like great people. My father found out when he was in his 40s that his father was not his biological father. His mother, my grandmother, literally cheated on her husband with the milkman. Man. Milkmen were just laying pipe every ducking where way back when, weren't they? Enough physical activity to stay in shape, and a lot of interacting with lonely women at home alone. Adoptive parent of three kids two of which are biological siblings and cousins. Found out a year after the adoption that the biological parents were half siblings who shared the same dad. The bio parents found out after they had the first child and proceeded to have another. The kids are now 16 and 13 respectively and have zero clue that they are a product of incest. Unfortunately their biological grandpa just passed away, so there very well could be a big reveal coming in the near future. That I've been changing every clock in the house on New Year's Eve to 3 hours early. At 9pm we celebrate a new year, then hang out for an hour. He thinks he's breaking every rule and has a great time. Now that he's turning 11 this will never happen again. With phones and being somewhat smarter. LOL. We do something similar with my daughters. We find a YouTube video of the previous year's ball drop and celebrate around 9. Then send them to bed. My oldest is 5. So I don't think we will get away with it much longer. I was the kid in the scenario. When I was like 12. My dad died of leukemia. He was never around much so I didn't see him often. But that was never the secret. I actually remember the day he took off and left us. Woke up one morning and there was a pile of new toys on the living room floor with a note for mom. Anyway. He started coming around when he received the prognosis. We developed something resembling a positive relationship before he died. When he passed it absolutely destroyed me. I still remember the funeral. I had to be dragged kicking and screaming out of the car because I didn't want to see it. In his will he left me his car. A Camaro. That I was supposed to get when I turned 16. His parents fought tooth and nail to keep it from me. They were really shitty people. His entire side of the family was. And we eventually just told them to duck off and keep the damn thing. Fast forward about 15 years. I find out the guy that died was not actually my dad. He was my brother's dad. My real, biological dad has been living in the next town over. 20 minutes from my house. My entire life. My entire family knew about it. Except for me. It was why my grandparents fought to keep the car. They knew I was not his son. I still don't know if he knew or not. But I assume so. My maternal grandmother has met him several times in my life. My mom said she never thought it was anything worth digging up. Said she intended for me to never find out. I've still never spoken to him. I know a name and an approximation of where he lives, as of about 10 years ago. Beyond that, I know jack about the guy. Grandma said if I ever want to meet him, she would help me contact him. Dunno if I ever will. Edit 1. After laying all this out, and thinking more about it, there's no possible way the dead dad did not know I was not his kid. Edit 2. For everyone asking me about the lady asking if I'm her husband. No. I am not married. Are you my husband? Was it a 1979 Camaro? I am laughing out loud at the idea that this has happened to multiple people. We will call them Camaro kids. Edit. I am sorry the loss of every parent with a Camaro. I was laughing at the synchronicity. Not your pain. Comma. Posting here so when my kids are old enough to snoop they get a split second of excited expectation before they are greeted by my saying I do really enjoy having sex with their mother. Username checks out. Parenting game 10 stroke 10. You mother ducker. I'm hiding a lot of things I used to be a stripper for 10 years. Growing up in an abusive house. I partied hard and used to be part of Nick and Montreal club scene. That I was kidnapped and taken to another country. There's a lot of things. Now I'm just a boring accountant mom to everyone. No one has any clue what I've been through. Crazy what your kids don't know about you. Honestly, drop the bomb if you see them heading down the same path. They'll shit their pants and it'll get the point across. Yes, 
I almost threw away all my photos but instead I scanned them and saved. Just in case someone doesn't believe me. Haha. <laughs> my mom kept it a secret that the woman I was named after, her mom, my grandma, was stabbed to death by my uncle when my mom was 18. I always suspected my grandma had a tragic death because of how my mom would avoid talking about it, but I didn't know it was that tragic. Is the uncle dead or in prison what happened with him? He was in a mental hospital for several years and then committed suicide. I'm the child. I recently found out about the murder-suicide attempt my great-grandmother tried to commit on her family. Her daughter, my grandmother, survived the attack and some years later moved to Canada as a teen and eventually got married and had my dad. Pretty haunting. I'm the kid. Until I was 12 I thought that I knew my bio dad. That man left when I was around 6 and my mom started dating the man I call and accept as dad. I just thought people left and you moved on. On the way to cheerleading practice when I was 12 my grandma says you know Steve isn't your real dad. I said no, and that was it. I found out about 4 years later that my mom was having an affair with my bio dad. One night she was brutally beaten and raped. She called bio dad from the hospital and he said he was on his way. She never heard from him again. I am 30. She suspects that he arranged the rape. When I was 18 I got a message on FB that started off you don't know me but I know you. Don't delete this. It honestly sounded like one of those chain letters. Turns out it was my half sister from bio dad. She and I are now FB friends but haven't met in person. I have no desire to meet bio. My actual dad that raised me is literally amazing. I could not have custom ordered a better father. My mom left him when I was 16 after cheating on him with a woman. He sat me down and told me that just because he and my mom broke up doesn't mean that him and I did. He continued to financially support me and never missed a beat. He met his wife 10 years ago and stepped in as dad to her then 5 year old. He is so badass. My son was a product of rape. He just thinks I had really low standards in men at one point. Please god tell me you don't have the share custody with the father. Nope. He signed over his rights when my son was a toddler but I allow his mother to be a part of my son's life. She is unaware of the rape as well. The bio dad died late last year and I have debated telling her out of anger of hearing constantly how great of a person he was for the last 14 years and then in death. That we don't go to bed the same time as they do. That's me every night at bedtime. Daughter. Books. Me. No more books. Time for night night. Daughter. Books. Me. No more books. Time for night night. Daughter. Mama. Me. Mama went night night. Time for night night. Daughter. Daddy. Me. Yes. I'm going night night too. It's 6.45 of course I'm not going night night. Sounds like she has her priorities in order. After reading a bunch of these, I feel pretty good that my most ducked up secret is that I eat most of their Halloween Easter slash parade candy when they are at school. Thanks for watching this radical video. Subscribe for the best reddit videos straight to your feed 3 times a day.